I want to show you how to make every dollar work for you. In today's video, I want to go over our different every dollar categories. And for us, we have changed every dollar a little bit, not completely, but we have created categories that work for us and our situation. And it's something that you can do too. And in truth, you can apply this to any budgeting technique. You can use it for Excel. You can use it for whatever you want. So let's get started. Our first category is utilities. And these are things that come up every month that, you know, lights, gas, water, whatever. That's what most people would have in. In our category, we have utilities are only two things. It's our storage unit, which is the source of much debate and our cellular telephones. Telephones obviously fall under utilities. And for us, because we don't have rent or a mortgage or anything like that, we figured the closest approximation of rent or mortgage is our storage unit. So this is where we put it. Our next category is transportation. Now transportation covers everything that is car related with the exception of Mauricio's car loan and our car insurance. So in our category for cars, things like gas, oil changes, new tire, routine maintenance, all of those things, they go in this category. Easy pass for the toll road here, that also goes in this category. Now, one of the things that we have done to every dollar that really works well for us and may or may not work well for other people is we actually have a category in here called Melina. Now, obviously you have not my child, so you wouldn't call it Melina, but you might call it children. For us, we wanted to know how much we were budgeting for Melina specifically. This is a category that Mauricio requested and I happily obliged. And so in this category, we would have anything Melina related. We would have school, clothes, any after school activities, babysitters, anything Melina related goes in this category. The next category is one that we altered to fit our lifestyle completely. And this would be the food and hygiene category. We don't call it food and hygiene, we call it stores. Because you know what? In our family, we shop by store. I have a Amazon line, I have a Target, I have a Sephora, I have a local grocery store, I have Sally Beauty. While not each one of these categories gets funded every month, when there is something I know that's coming up that I need to fund in one of these categories, I go ahead and I estimate and it Let's say, let's say I need some makeup and I wanted to go to Sephora. Now I am not buying my makeup at Sephora right now, but if I were, I would say, okay, I need foundation and my foundation costs X. So I'm going to put that much plus tax in there and it's going to go in the Sephora line item. This, it has been a game changer for Mauricio and I with budgeting because I no longer had to stress about trying to figure out how to split things up. If I went to Target and I bought some food and some hair stuff and some this, what got divided up, it became mathematically complicated. So for us, putting in line items by store was genius. Our next category is insurance and tax. In this category, I have all of our insurance. I have Mauricia's life insurance, my life insurance, um, our car insurance, our rental policy, the amount of money we have to pay our CPA to do our taxes. And then if we owed money on taxes, it would also go in this category. Our next category is our giving category. And now I'm not gonna give you a screenshot of our giving category because it would just be all blocked out. So in our giving category, I put things that are legitimate giving, like birthdays. Whenever anybody has a birthday, I put it in the giving category because Giving is never obligatory. If I have my birthday and it shows up in that month, then I have my birthday and the amount that Mauricio and Melina will spend on my birthday present in that category. I also have the, I have the amount of money that I give to my parents monthly, tithing, any giving that I donate to people who have fundraisers at work or something like that. That all goes in this category. The next category is miscellaneous. And miscellaneous is my catch-all category for things that I don't know where else to put them. Like iTunes, reoccurring things. Weight Watchers, our blow money, haircuts, dry cleaning, 
dry cleaning is about to become a line item for us. I'll get into that in a later video. Um, Amazon Prime Fee. All of those things, I don't know where else to put them. So I just put them in the miscellaneous category. Then, of course, we have our debt category. And our debt category is a list of all our debts. That's it. And the amount we're paying to debt every month. Then we have our cushion category, which I'll, you can see from the screenshot is not called cushion. This category is for when we have expenses that come up in the month that we have not anticipated. Some of them are a little bit anticipated. Mauricio has a tendency to want to get something out of the vending machine and their vending machine at work doesn't take cash. So he uses the card for that. And you know, it's like a dollar or $2 at a time. So, but he didn't do it very often. You know, if he needs a drink while he's out and needs to run to 7-Eleven and ran out of cash or something like that. For the most part, um, he does use cash, but sometimes randomly he doesn't. So it's good for me to have this category in there. In this particular month, there was a lot of medication in this category. And while medication can go in a medical category, this best operates in this category. Um, one day, Melina really wanted chicken noodle soup. She's been sick and she was like, mommy, I want alphabet chicken soup. And so I ran out to the grocery store. We didn't have any money for that in our budget. Ran out to the grocery store and got the stuff to make alphabet soup for Melina. You know, and that was fine because I have that $100 in there that is planned. And for the most part, we don't go over that at all. I have my YouTube category, which is basically anything that I spend on YouTube. And I am going to actually be separating this out pretty soon um, into its own budget because for tax purposes, once it becomes a business, I'm going to have to have that completely separated. So for right now, it's integrated into our regular household budget, but I don't really spend a lot on that. Then we have a category called trips. And this is if we need to go somewhere for, let's say I have to travel for work or we're going to visit Mauricio's parents down in Colombia. This is where all of the budgeting for the travel would go. Now, 90% of the time, there is nothing in this category. It's just an empty category, but I like to have it there in case something comes up. Then we have our medical category. This is where doctors, co-pays go. Um, sometimes medicine, like anticipated medicine would go in this category, but for the most part, it's just doctor's co-pays or deductibles or doctor's bills or dentist bills, those kind of things. The last category in our budget it are our sinking funds. And now these are auto-drafted from our account every month and our sinking funds, we have five sinking funds that we fuel every month now. And I'm, I'm super happy that we're doing that. Um, I, I really think sinking funds is a game changer for us. And then our emergency fund, should we have to draw from that, is also in this category. So if I need to transfer money to the emergency fund, it would go in this category as well. And so that's all our um, categories for every dollar. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Make sure you click on my big laughing face so you can subscribe to my channel. And I'll put two videos up that you can click on. Go ahead and click on those and keep on watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!